G'day Cobbers. Today I'm going to be doing uh, an Old Star box and a Foxtel IQ3. So I'm very in interested to see what's inside these. Um, the Old Star still has its uh, little SIM card type thing. So we can use that for a bit of gold recovery. Um, so I've never done either of these two types, I presume um, they're going to be sort of like a, a set-top box sort of thing, maybe, I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll get started on it and see what we come up with. Alright, so we'll make a start on the Ozstar one for now. I'll we'll quickly whack these uh, screws out. few bits and pieces going on. Got a fair bit in there. Basic power board here. I will dig into that a little bit in a little bit. Apparently the device is too hot to use the torch. Get some light on the subject anyway. back and uh, not so much the front. I can bend it out of the way anyway. These aren't magnetic, but I'm not too sure what they are, so I'm just going to throw them in the nuts and bolts. We've still got one screw hiding away. And there we go. That's just plastic. There's a fair few uh, decent size MLCCs on here. Let's see if I just near my thumb there. So decent size. Um, 
what looks like a few uh, small tantalum capacitors. We'll get off what we can anyway. little bit of aluminum not too much on the back at all fell off anyway, that's about all that was uh, in there. A few BGAs and IC chips on here. <coughs> we'll get those off. CC. CC's away.
Yeah, that's a bit, a bit of it for the, that one. It's got these uh, copper spools. to start on the uh, Foxtel IQ3. Just get all up. Okay, we got uh, torque screws. Alright, so we've got a one terabyte uh, Toshiba hard drive. <coughs> That might be worth uh, keeping. I'll put that in my uh, test computer to see if that actually boots up. Or actually works, I should say. And you never know, there could be some good TV shows on there. Alright. So this outer case should come off now. silver or tin so I'm not going to worry about that one. Make that look like more of a motor. Here we are, we've got a bit going on here. Um, <coughs> three boards all up, and uh, quite surprisingly, no power board. Uh, the power plugs there, so it must all be contained within this uh, circuit board. But anyway, we'll get them off. A 
few decent MLCCs on that. We've got some half decent uh, gold fingers on this one here, so not too bad. The aluminum, <coughs> aluminium heat sink also doesn't want to come off. There we are. So not too much on this uh, board. A few IC chips and tiny little um, gold band crystal oscillator but it's a bit too small to even get off. One last board here. decent IC chips on that. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that cabling. Nice uh, BGA under the uh, the heatsink there. Just scrape a bit of the uh, thermal paste off. Start off with the uh, crystal. And get some of these IC chips off. Oh. I'll get a few of these MLCCs off. They're okay size. Probably the, the smallest that I would uh, bother worrying about. And that's about it. We've got a few USBs and stuff like that. Even a, a SIM card, I missed that one. Um, but yeah, I'll leave that for a later stage to further process. 
So I'm just going to throw these into my uh, gold plating for recovery. Just put these MLCCs away before I lose them. Not too much on this board. We've got a few um, two BGA chips here with um, I think either aluminum or steel heat sinks on them. Yeah, just aluminum, aluminium heat sinks. <coughs> a few decent uh, MLCCs. One MLCC on the back. Chip off the MLCCs, get those. So chips off now. I don't know if I'll be able to get that uh, aluminium uh, heat sink off. We'll give it a try though. Yeah, that pops off reasonably easy. Just double check that that's aluminium. No, it's. I think maybe a s stainless steel or something. Or partially. I don't know. But it's sticking to the magnet, so no good to us. And that can go in uh, BGAs. still got this one here. I may as well throw that in uh, gold fingers as well. Not too much under there whatsoever. We've got uh, one IC chip. Or BGA, sorry. A few decent size MLCCs. Nice roll of them there and there. So we'll get them off. And some of the smaller ones as well. A few black tantalum capacitors. Still yet to find any uh, yellow ones, but uh, we could have had some yellow ones on that uh, last one. about it for the, the half decent size ones. A few on the back there, I'll leave them for another time. Yeah, I'll leave those uh, tantalum capacitors, I'm pretty sure they are. The reference code is D, so I'll have to have a look at that. A 
stocking up on some MLCCs, that's good. We should have a BGA chip hiding under here. Took the uh, heat shield off with it as well, that's good. So we'll get rid of that, that's some sort of uh, ferrous metal. Clean some of the impurities off the alloy, the aluminum. If you aren't already up to date, a lot of uh, raw metals like aluminum and copper I keep for myself. So that's why I try and keep it as clean as possible. Just for when I try and um, melt it, reduces the impurities. And that's about it for that one. Definitely a few um, tantalum capacitors on there, but I'll leave those for another time. We've got another board up in the front here. I presume that would just be the LCD panel. But if we can uh, get into it, we might be able to have a look. Just sort of looks like it. Um... Yep, there we are. So nothing, nothing much at all really. Um, a couple of um, partially blank boards. Yeah, I'll just scrap that one. A few little MLCCs and lights and stuff like that, but. Uh, too small for my liking. And the last thing we've got is just the hard drive. A little um, wireless receiver there, I believe. And we'll get this uh, hard drive out. And then that'll be that'll be it for this one. There's a uh, Phillips screws holding it down with that, and then, of course, torque screws on the side. Oh, cross, they're a bit tight. Oh. It could be the next size up, just to save. Over on my screwdriver, the torque screwdriver. There we go. I'm not sure where that one went, but that's alright. Not too bad, we'll see about that hard drive. Could be worth something. A bit better than uh, scrap value anyway, so... 
being one terabyte and it's a, a Toshiba. It is 2015, but it does feel very light as well, but I'd rather see if I can uh, make some more money off it by selling it rather than scrapping it out. So I'll just do a quick update and show you um, what I've accumulated so far. EEPROMs really hasn't changed much. IC chips, BGAs, crystals, so built up a few of them, and MLCCs, we've also built up a few of those. Uh, tantalum capacitors, uh, again, haven't found any yellow ones, but a few black ones here and there. Uh, pure brass, so a fair bit there. Um, a few standoffs, um, circuit board standoffs and all that sort of stuff. Uh, tinned brass from plugs. So we're getting a fair few of those. Our mixed gold recovery. I managed to find a set of, um, I'm not sure what they're called actually, um, those plugs that go in your TV. Found a set of those that were gold plated, so that's pretty good. CPU pins, haven't done any, well, any new ones. Uh, plastic gold recovery. Uh, telecom type ones, gold plating, and tinned copper. And over this side, I've got um, still got. I oh know we've uh, got more hard drive platters. Four, four of them now. So slowly building those up. Some uh, gold plating and gold pins that need to need to be uh, removed. This one, whoops, I'll actually put separate. I keep plating and pins. Uh, USBs, that's getting quite full, so I'll have to start taking some chunks out of them. And um, gold plated CPUs, I've only got two of those at present. And that's really about it. I Last night, up until late, I was uh, stripping back some wire. So these are all the, the innards of um, mainly the 2x1s. The As if I can get it to focus. So usually those ones, they seem to go, go through the... Uh, uh, stripping machine very well. It's these uh, round three by ones that are a bit of a pain. They sort of like um, roll out the side of the uh, the, gu uh, the guide wheel and the cutter. Um, but it still it still gets through them pretty good. Half the time it just uh, chops through the through the wire a bit. Like here, that would be one out of a. Uh, three by so yeah the they can be a bit of a pain so I have actually stocked up a bit oh, on copper oh, maybe got about 10 kilos of dirty copper maybe uh, six or seven kilos of um, clean copper a lot of it uh, doesn't look clean but it's just uh, uh, tarnished I've like gone a bit like oxidize, oxidization, whatever you want to call it. Um, but most of that is uh, pretty much pure clean. A lot of uh, big bits like that that I got from um, uh, my uh, gauzing, degaussing cable from CRT TVs. I decided to throw them in my clean copper, even though they do have a bit of a, a lacquer on them. But just because of uh, how much copper there was actually there so I just decided to do that and I'll throw a heap of borax in with either <coughs> excuse me with either batch that I do so that'll be good um, getting a fair bit of uh, aluminum there's probably oh maybe 20 kilos there or so 
and uh, so that is actually all the cords that I'm doing so if you did see I had uh, one of these bags full of pretty much all all my cords and all uh, the rest of them I put in that bag and sell them I'm gonna have to find a, a new buyer though because damn I got ripped off but um, Oh, I took in uh, 11 car batteries and um, maybe about, well, a bag full of uh, low-grade copper wire because, <coughs> excuse me, they only take uh, one grade unless it's uh, higher than, I think, 80% or 90% of uh, copper. So, and that's when they'll pay a little bit more, but... Um, and what else was it? Uh, um, transformers and motors. So starting all over again with them. And uh, there was maybe about uh, 20 or 30, maybe even 50 kilos of uh, motors and transformers. And all up I got about uh, 50 bucks for it. So yeah, I'm, I'm tired of dealing with the scrapyards in my town. Um, I've already told one to shove it after he offered me nothing for a trailer load of uh, scrap, about 700 kilos of it, so no, I told him to shove it and I won't be coming back. And um, yeah, so I went somewhere else this time and got ripped off again. So the, the main reason for it is that... Um, we're almost in the middle of nowhere, so our scrap yards don't do anything with our scrap. They just off-sell it again to someone that deals with it. So really, they they can't even pay us the um, the scrap value because that's what they're getting when they sell it. So it's a bit of a bit of a shame, honestly. But no, I'm just going to have to travel a little bit further to um, sell off my scrap. And um, maybe scrap steel, I'll probably get rid of to them. Maybe, I'm not sure, depending on their pricing. I've got a, a full washing machine there and half of a dryer that's pretty much full. So, yeah, we've got a bit to get rid of. And even some stainless steel over here that I've accumulated up. So, this may be only five kilos or something there so not much value in that but yeah we'll just keep pushing just keep going along I've got a few more things to scrap out and um, I've got a pick pickup to do today um, uh, just for a TV so not too much but at least it's something it has dried up a fair bit lately so other than that I've got these Two printers, You've got to love printers. They're amazing, amazing for plastic. Uh, and two TVs, both already tested and don't work, so unfortunate, but I did already find my um, TV that I was gonna keep, so that's good. And <coughs> anyway, I'll go test this hard drive, see if it works, and we'll catch you on the next video, guys. Have a good one.